Okay, so here I'm going to fill in a little more information on uh, the two-part soft busts in particular and the obitsu bodies that I uh, tend to have a preference over. The question was posed about different colors in uh, between pale and uh, flesh tone because the pictures on Junkie Spot's site are not exactly very conducive to, to showing what the color difference is. So right here, I have actually two Bubitsu conversions, and um, if I can move them a little closer here, you can see the flesh tone compared to the white. There's a fair difference. Do my best to get decent light here. She has a rather uh, dark face as it is. So comparatively, you can tell, hopefully, <laughs> in this, that yeah, the flesh tone is a bit darker than the pale. Like I said, these two are Bubitsu conversions. This uh, the blonde is my my doll, uh, Sophitia, and she's the first Bubitsu conversion that I did. Or you can see where I trimmed it, and it was kind of rough. And then um, I have a video on doing a Bubitsu conversion to Absinthe here, one of uh, my wife's dolls that uh, I should have put up shortly. And uh, I left a little, a little more below the bust than I did on Sophie's to see how that all worked out. Um, I have an intruder in the presence. You gonna cause problems here? Yeah. Here. Stupid. Where are you going? Cause trouble. Okay. Um. The reason for, for my doing of the Bubutsu conversion is just a slightly different look. Um, it does kind of give you a little bit less of a gapping effect. Most of the time you're not going to notice that, but if you do your your girls in any sort of a photo shoot where they might be wearing bikinis or swimsuits of sorts possibly, it might be where that might be noticed. Or as I have a picture of uh, these three girls actually in swimsuits that uh, I'll post at the end of the video here to, to illustrate my point perhaps. Um, what I've done here is uh, Cassandra is on a regular uh, large bust two-part ubitsu and as to whether or not you can really tell in the footage here, I'm gonna pick them up a little bit. Sophies are actually a little bit larger and a little bit more round and just basically a different overall look um, Pretty much so what it boils down to is kind of an experiment that uh, My wife and I both think actually turned out really well and like and probably still gonna do it for my wife's doll Ashi She got a Volks body for Ashi but uh, We don't know how well it's gonna work out Actually on the shelf here there's a um, hard bust ubitsu right here with the, the man bulbs that I'd spoke of. Let me see, my wife's got to clean this stuff up. This is the body that she got used for Ashi. You can already see there's a bit of a bit of foam in there. A uh, very large bust, and uh, I don't know. Looks all right, but it's gonna have some of the same floppy things, and it's so skinny right in the torso there. So I guess that's one of the things I like about the ubitsus too. They look a little more uh, curvy, a little more, uh, I don't know, this is curvy too, but like, you know, in a more smooth sense. Um, I think I've shown in the past here, this is a soft bust Volks, and uh, yes, they are ginormous. They're a little too big if you ask me. But uh, then again, this is supposed to be Ivy from Soul Calibur, or will be eventually, so I suppose it's fitting then. <coughs> We've actually got another uh, lower part here that we might use for if we do one for Ashi. Well, going back down the line here, we have the large bust of the two part, the medium bust of the two part, and we'll go ahead and try and do a side profile without shading the light with the camera so hopefully you can see a bit of the difference in size there I do not have a small bust 27 centimeter it's actually just not come up quite necessary yet 
This is actually the oldest um, two-part soft bust body that we have. It originally actually had um, uh, the medium bust on it, and I actually switched them around. Um, trying to see if I can show here. The only issue that I ever have with this body, which is not even all that often, is um, she fairly easily separates down in the lower part here. So you can see again, it looks like she's a bit taller now. And so then you'll end up, you know, she'll be kind of floppy. And then you just got to kind of weasel it back in there, push it back, you know, uh, push her body back together, and then she snaps together just fine. And that's, hers is the only one that does it. And it doesn't even do it all that often. It's usually when you're, when you're like trying to fit on a tight dress or something that doesn't exactly fit quite. That's when that does that. Um, the two-part soft bust uh, bodies. Uh, I think it might be uh, useful to point out to some people that don't know. Um, like I said, just smooth and round. Um, there is no crotch detailing, which uh, a lot of the Volks bodies do have. And I suppose to some people that may be a concern. Uh, whereas these girls, it's just smooth. The nice thing is uh, when they wear panties, um, they don't have a creepy bulge going like the hard bust ones do. I prefer my girls to always keep their panties on because it's proper. This is one of my newer girls, and I am actually waiting on panties from her. I ordered some Pure Nemo panties I ordered from uh, Mimi Wu on eBay. And we're waiting for those to come. For example, um, she's got a set of those on right here. They're nice. They come in a pack of three, and they're like ten bucks. You know. But to continue down the line here, we go into the 25 centimeter bracket, which is what these two are. The large bust and the medium bust. Go ahead, and you can see a bit of a difference here. The weird thing for some reason with Ubitsu is there's some strange bit of nipple detailing that is on some bodies and not on some others. <clears throat> you probably can't see that in the pictures, so I figure that's an important thing to cover too. You know, the Ubitsus obviously have relatively well detailed, um, shall we say, nature's thermometers always set to cold. And then whereas the large and the medium bust of the regular two-part soft there's kind of a little bit of a point, but it's not actually any detailing. Same thing with the large and the 25. However, for some reason, when you get to the medium and the t medium uh, 25 centimeter, it's got a bit more detailing. And why it varies, I really don't know. It's kind of strange. But I figured it might be something important to point out. Cody here with the with the darker blue hair is on a uh, 23 centimeter two-part soft bust. And uh, that's where they begin the two-part soft bust line. And I, I want to say she might actually be on a medium bust, but you know, I honestly can't remember. It's probably like the second two-part soft bust body that we ever bought, and it doesn't give me any problems. The two-part soft busts are somewhat susceptible to staining, so you have to be careful and make sure clothing is color safe. Um, as a guy, I'm not very intelligent, and I have made some mistakes, so unfortunately there are a couple little stains. I haven't quite tried to take them out yet. They might come out. But it's never really been a concern. Also, for um, showing an example here, uh, a popular thing to do with a 21 centimeter. The 21 centimeter does not come available in a soft bust. Um, the little pink-haired girl is my wife's doll, Ichigo. And she has what is referred to as a doll bitsu which is you take the 21 centimeter obitsu body and you just take off the upper upper uh, bust piece here so you don't even have to modify the neck peg you take that off of the original doll body and it pretty much snaps right onto the obitsu lower half of the body and you can put the obitsu's arms on it nice thing about the obitsu's is they're they're pretty good for posability because they'll actually stand on their own and whatnot i don't have much trouble getting my girls to stand obviously on hard surfaces being she's a hard bust, she does have a little bit of issue standing because the the main thing for hard bust, same with Volks bodies, as to why they don't pose as well, is they flop around right at the lower joint here a lot. And there's things you can do to stiffen it up. Um, Requiem has tutorials for that about putting the foam pieces in there. Um, for me, because I prefer the two-part soft busts, that actually is just not an issue. I've never had to 
modify any of my bodies other than the Bobitsu conversion that I have done. They're nice and poseable. And I suppose there's some limitations because they can't pivot their hips like the hard bots do, but you know, that really has never quite come up as an issue. A um, couple other interesting things <clears throat> that I'll cover here. Joints. Uh, strangely, for some reason, the 21... Let me try to get them a nice little bend here. I usually actually pay a lot of attention to the knees and the arms when I'm posing them, otherwise they look kind of funny. Have this style of joint, and just like the 27 centimeters, it's pretty much the exact same style of joint, just smaller. But for some reason, the 25 centimeters have a completely different style of joint. Which is fine and all, and bends really good to this point, and has a fairly decent profile. But if you bend it further, it does that. Kind of a weird gap. So, after wearing pants, it's not something you notice anyways, but it's one of those odd things that, you know, this joint does not do. Because this joint pretty much just stays smooth all the way around. It begins to look a little funny, but then again, if you want posability, you're never going to get the joints to look the way you want anyways. Uh, I should say elbow joints um, on the 21 and 23 are the same as the 27 centimeters arm joints as well. And the 25s are once again different, but only slightly. They're actually a little bit wider and a little bit smoother, and it's kind of strange and it's almost hard to tell. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a difference. But uh, certainly not anything that matters at all, really. But uh, those are some of the points that uh, I hope to help and cover, you know, show some of the the differences in color and skin tone. You know, I mean, there are some, some differences, if you can see, in Harmony here. She has a bit more of a peachy um, face up than the paleness on her body, but uh, I don't think it's enough to concern me, certainly. So I hope that helps with some people. They'll have kind of the cute little chubby feet. <laughs> For some reason, the... Uh, the 20, that is kind of odd, the 21 centimeter and the 23 centimeters feet actually look to be a bit longer than the 25s. Now the 27s are overall bigger, so it makes sense. It's really strange the way they decide some of that stuff, I guess I'm not sure. But I hope that answers some questions about the two-part soft busts to perhaps enter some questions on skin tone and, um, Really just overall little details about them. If anybody has questions, I'm always more than willing to do my best to answer any questions with the dolls that I have. Um, I'll just go ahead and put uh, a maroon body here just to show the difference in skin tone. You know, uh, pale flesh and maroon. Usual, Action Christ is always looking after the girls with his muscles and Kung Fu action grip. And John 316. God loved the world so much that he sent his only son to pay for sin so that whoever believes in him may not be punished but have everlasting life. So yeah, if anybody has any questions, I'd be more than happy to, to try and answer and uh, hopefully this helps people out a little bit.